What is up my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video with your girl Pamela Janani. Welcome back to my channel. What is the vibe my beautiful tribe? Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday so um, tomorrow's Friday. It's a whole new week. I feel like I'm always saying it's it's the weekend is here. So yes, the weekend is absolutely here, right? Let's tap into this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so right now. Support me on this journey that I what always say is bigger than me because it absolutely is, darling. All right, let's go. So they don't want you to be who God called you to be. They don't. They don't want you to be who God called you to be. But God says you will. You will. Um, strong, brave, smart, beautiful, handsome, the woman or the man that God chose you to be. There's no mistake when it comes to us, guys. There's no mistake when it comes to who you are, um, how you are, what you look like. There's no mistake. As much as the world wants to paint us as, as being something, um, of, of not, not a value because of our looks and the outside and, and where we come from and where we are now, that's not up to them. It's not up for people, mankind, to tell us our worth, to tell us who we can be with, who we cannot be with. It's not up to them, okay? Let's tap into it some more. Um, God chose you, okay, to do what you are called to do. Whatever that is, God chose you to do what you are called to do. I'm not called to do what you are called to do. You're not called to do what I am called to do. We are all connected, okay? And we're, we are gonna be doing something similar, okay? Um, and it doesn't matter where you are, okay, or where I am, we are all here to do one thing that is truly, truly important to God, which is bring more people, bring more lost souls to his kingdom, to our kingdom, which is to be kind and loving, respectful, and, and, and to serve God, to praise God, to worship him, to give our lives to him. We are all called to do pretty much the same thing, but in a different way. You guys get what I'm saying? And just because, you know, your enemies and the, the wicked people out there in the world chooses to go another route, they can't disrupt yours. They can't change what you are called to do. And the people who are trying to change what you are called to do is the people who were, who were close to you. It's always the people who were so close to us and, and who we grew up with who really um, figure out that they, they figure that they have, a, they have a greater power of destroying you. And that's why Satan uses them because they do have a greater power of destroying you. But you can't destroy something that is attached to God. Let's tap into it some more. You have what it takes. That's why you were casted out at a very young age. I've said this before, this very sentence here. You were casted out before because you were this way, the same strength and the same courage and the same light that you hold right now. You had that when you were born. You had that, which is why you were casted out by family, by your, by your peers in school, elementary, middle school, high school. You were not the same. And for some of you, you dibble and you dabbled into things that you didn't want to do to try to fit in, but it was not it. The shoe didn't fit. It was no long ago, okay, who you are, who you was, all right? So it was Satan's mo motive. It was his mission to break you down at that young age. So if a lot of you guys went through hard times, even at a young age, okay, take it as it resonates, no matter what it was, Satan, Satan knew who you, Satan has been, he's been around the block. He knew who you was, and that's why we, we, you know, us chosen ones and spiritual warriors and us generational curse breakers, we had it rough when we were younger. Our family didn't like us when we were younger. We were treated differently when we were younger. The kids that you that you um have now were treated differently than the kids that were that were in the family. Because whoever whoever is attached to you, whoever is attached to me, okay, has a higher calling as well. They are called to do something great called to do something power not the ordinary we're not better but we're not the ordinary our purpose is huge we are here to do things and break curses and break the chains so that it's broken off of our children and that is why my children were treated differently that is why your tre your children were treated differently the light that you have is inside of them Whomever it is that you're attached to, you marry. Whomever it is that's in your circle, okay, is protected and guided by that light. And this is why there's a lot of people who were attached to you. And they had protection. They had a they they were protected with love, with, with your angels. Because whomever it is that, that we are around has the light. They have the protection that we have. But the minute that these people who were in your circle betrayed you, you noticed that their life was not the same anymore. It's not about what they they painted to be. We know what it is, right? Their life is, is not the same 
as it was. They have they don't have the protection that they had when they were in your circle. They don't. They don't. That's why things are chaotic for a lot of your enemies right now. Because when they were with you, okay, they 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 had this protection. They had the light all around them. And then they went and they won, they betrayed you, and they kept hurting you. Strike after strike, karma after karma fell upon them. And not only did they lose the protection of the light that you held around them, but they lost a lot because now they are reaping what they have sown, which is a heavy, heavy price to pay, a heavy tag of karma. Let's keep going here. So at this adult age, you would be broken. Satan wanted to break you from a young age so that now as an adult, you would be broken. You would feel like you are nothing. You have nothing. You have nobody. You're casted out. You are nothing is what Satan wanted. But they can't do that to people who are everything, even if they don't know it. You didn't know how much, you know, you were of value to God back then. You didn't know it. But your spirit did. That's why you didn't know how you would get out of all of these situations that you were into in, in, in your life. But you did. You may not have put one and one together back then, but God was doing it for you. And you're doing it for yourself now, right? Um, your calling is attached to you. Your calling is attached to you. It was always attached to you. It's always going to be attached to you. Even if you're going through something where you are, you didn't um, truly listen to God and you chose to listen to yourself and listen to others, God is still in that, in that mix with you. When you are chosen and when you are a generational curse breaker and when you are attached to God, okay, by the spirit and also by the flesh, but you may not um, know the flesh yet. A lot of us, we were attached to God in the spirit a long time ago, as I said before, but your flesh took, took um, control which happens. You're not perfect. Okay. But now you understand that one and one, yes, you and God are one. Okay. And, and, and you're whole together. And now you understand that, right? You understand that. And now your flesh is following your spirit. Let's keep going here. My beautiful people. Um, you have the power and the authority to make things move. You do. I do. We have that power to make people move, okay? And when I say people move, people need to get out of the way of God's people. They always needed to get out of the way, but they right now they need to get out of the way of God's people because we are not we are not afraid to move them. We are not afraid to move them with our energy, with our spirit. We will not touch you. We will not do black magic against you. We will not hate you. We will just love you and you will move. They will move. Your spirit um, speaks and moves before your flesh does, before your spirit, um, your physical can, all right? So you may have been um, down, but your spirit up. A lot of you guys, you you know, you've been through a lot in this life, right? And you felt down um, and your, your physical felt down, but your spirit, you knew that your spirit was like, get up, get up, get up. Your spirit knows where you belong. Your spirit knows you. And, and, and then you know yourself later on. And, that, and that's how it happens, you know? So you may already said that. Your spirit is always, always ready, fighting, and protecting you, okay? Always. Your enemies saw the flesh. They saw your flesh tired. They saw your flesh tired sometimes, guys. And yes, we get tired sometimes, okay? We get tired. This, this journey that we're on is not for the weak, as I said before. It's not for the weak. People are going to come up against us. People are not going to want to help us. People are going to want the worst for us just because we hold this light. Just because we hold this light. And that right there got me a little bit of um, emotional because my light has always been to, 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 to um, love people, to support people, to, to just be loved by people. And I never got it back. And I'm telling you from a person who smiled all the time when I was a little girl, who had the best positive attitude towards my family, towards my peers, to everybody. And I did not get the same thing back. I can't tell you one person in my life besides my mom and my dad who showed me what I showed them. Not one person. Oh, and my kids, of course. But I'm talking about, you know. But that's it. Do you know how hard that is? I'm not perfect, but I know 100% who I am and that I've given my heart wholeheartedly and I have yet to get that back. 
And that could make me be angry. That could make me be upset. That could make me just not believe in what I deserve and not believe that I'm going to get it. But I will. I will. Because I'm attracting at this point in my life everything that I want. And I want you to do the same thing. Attract everything that you want by walking in, the, in what you want. We got to be who we want to get what we want. You know what I'm saying? You can't be evil and kind and, and have this God complex as our enemies does and do all these dirty deeds and do black magic and spells and think that you're going to get what you get the opposite. You're not going to get a person like me. They're not going to get a person like you for being who they are. But once you believe in yourself and you believe that you are capable of doing everything that you want to do and receiving everything that you want, that is when you will get what? That's when you're going to get it. And when you're holding on to God, that's all I've needed in my life is God. And I'm so happy that I've known him since yay high. I'm so happy because a lot of people don't know him. I didn't listen to my flesh. I listened to God most of my life. Let's keep going here. Um, your enemy saw your flesh tired, but didn't realize your spirit was not. Your spirit was up. Your, our enemies saw our, they saw us tired. They saw us hurt. But not knowing that our spirit was up, alive, kicking. Our spirit works out. Our spirit was at the gym. Okay? Yeah, we were tired. They don't know. This is a gift we have when we're attached to God. You pray for, um, yeah, you pray for life and wisdom. God has given it to you. A lot of the things that you guys have prayed for, God has given them to you. You have it. It's coming. And you got to believe that, okay? We got to believe. When we believe in all of these things that we ask for, expect them. Expect them. When you're walking in your in, in, on your path and you're walking with God, expect them. Expect them. Um, God has given it to you. What will you do with it? We got to understand that God has given us a lot. And we have to do um, whatever that God has given us. We got to multiply it. And then he's going to multiply that and he's going to stack it up on. He's going to pile it up on after that. But he's, he has to see us putting in work, putting in action to make change, to want to be changed. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you know who you are, the devil is mad. The devil is furious. People are furious. This is why when you walk in the light that you hold right now, when you walk in confidence, even if you may not feel like you're the most beautiful person in the world, you walk in confidence as you are. People are furious about that. And trust me, if you don't think that you're beautiful, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are handsome, okay? Um, keep it up. Satan can't get a hold of anyone that doesn't keep company. Keep him company. Satan cannot get a hold of us. He can't get a grip of us. He can't do anything with us unless we keep him company. Don't keep him company. Don't keep his people company. If you have to cry, cry it out. Tears are not, tears are not weak. They're power. When you need to cry, get it out. Don't, don't hold your tears in because when you release, that is when the power comes from within, okay? If God called you to do what you are doing or about to do, no one can stop you. Nobody. Your enemies has no say, in, no say so in your life, what you do, what you're about to do, what you say, how you think. They have no say so. As much as they want to control things, they are not in control at all. Um, God is the truth. All else is a lie. The devil is a liar. Don't believe anything. Don't believe the hype that, they, that the devil tries to present you with. Do what God tells you to do. Obey him and oh, nobody else. Nobody else. You don't answer to anybody but God. And I'm not telling you that if you're married or if you're in a relationship, a loving one, not a toxic one, that you need to um, not obey. Not, not, well, I don't want to say, but not, you know what? You guys get what I'm saying. Your husband, your wife, they're not God. If you know that your husband or your wife um, is, is trying to stir you in the wrong direction, is giving you the wrong advice, is telling you to do things that you know is not right, that person is not for you. At the moment, that person is not for you in the future or ever at all. We got to understand that Satan is going to put a lot of people in our lives in front of us and present them to be something that they're not when they really are not. They're really toxic. Okay, and they're there to low key take you down and destroy you and take everything that you are you are trying to build and that you were meant to build. We got to be mindful of people because they come in forms of, of of looking beautiful and having it all together. But when you truly deep down get in, um, when you truly not deep down, when you truly get to know these people, they are nothing like what they presented themselves to be. Okay, 
<laughs> See, in your eyes said that. Don't let them. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fulfill it. Fulfill your purpose, guys. When you're attached to God, you can do everything. You can do everything that you want to do. Okay. Everything. God says it is his will and it shall be done. All right. Quiet the noise of your enemies, but simply, um, no, let me, let me read that right as I wrote it. Quiet the noise of your enemies by simply moving, okay? You are a walking testimony, okay? Needed for this world, all right? Love and light, my beautiful people. That is it for this message, okay? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely share my, con uh, my content, share my page, share my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next message. Bye.